everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be looking at the Lego Ninjago Legacy Fire Dragon Attack set, except actually this set does not depict a dragon, it depicts a wyvern, except actually a wyvern is just a type of dragon. And actually, wyverns, dragons, no matter what you call them, never existed in history, except in fantasy and myth, so it doesn't matter what we call them. At any rate, the set comes with just the dragon and four minifigures, no side builds. The dragon's head is a modernized version of the original style. So you got two pieces that are molded, you know, specialized molded pieces. It's kind of a nice throwback. You know, uh, I, I, I like some of the nicer uh, molded heads that they do, but I've also been able to appreciate some of the brick built ones in the past. But this is just very, very classic, very clearly trying to be classic and not a total reimagination re of the original. The print here is really good. On the sides, the teeth are nice and opaque with the white applications. Uh, for those, the little beard tuft down here is done in the dark red, which looks pretty good. So this is all this is all good. You know, this is well done. And you also get uh, two ball joints in the neck so the head can turn all around. This is the saddle, which can also be easily removed from, from the, uh, I guess, the end of the back, if you want to say. So we've got a single minifigure there. Got the flag, which has a couple of stickers on it. Set does not use too many stickers, but there are some. I like how they use the studs on the side construction to get some spines along the, the back, along the, sp the spine. Uh, and then these pieces that we first got, I think, in Ninjago itself, uh, now recolored to red. I'm not sure if this is the first time we've gotten those in red, but there's some additional teeth pieces behind there. And then the tail is able to articulate all sorts of ways because it's just made of a whole bunch of small segments that are connected together with Mixel style ball joints. And this is how it, how it all ends. Each of these wings is pretty beautiful. If you ask me, very, very bright in color with this really is very close to Lego's normal orange. And then they've got regular red, dark red and black, but it just looks like it's really on fire, almost glowing in the day. And this is good quality fabric. It's heavy, it's soft, it doesn't crinkle up easily. This is really good stuff. I like to see that. And this is able to open up quite wide or you can bring these all the way together, which is it's a neat trick and it looks really good. And again, with that good quality fabric, it just naturally flows in. You don't have to worry about how this has to be folded up. It even has the holes in it for the slightly tattered sections, which is just, just fantastic. If you ask me, that's a sticker there. That's a sticker there. Uh, you got a ball joint for the foot, which isn't able to go absolutely everywhere, but it has some range of motion. You have also have articulation of a couple of claws here. And looking at the, the rear legs, these have not nearly enough articulation, unfortunately. No knees, I'm okay with that, but basically you're able to move these forward and, and back and then splay them in and out, and that's it. There's also no uh, ankle articulation. That's, that's the worst part about it, if you ask me, because it really limits uh, what you can do to get the the whole foot on the ground these talons are really nice uh, you know simple simple enough design but it's just too bad that you know, we're not able to get the feet flat very easily so there are a couple of major uh, poses that you can get for this dragon this is what i started out with it's kind of what you would expect a wyvern style dragon to do when it's on the ground, you know, to, to walk about. It actually uses its hands at the ends of the wings. Just imagine a bat crawling around on the ground. This is, this is essentially how they, you know, approximate locomotion, the most efficient way for them. And it's, I think it, I think it looks pretty good. And we've seen depictions of this type of, of animal, fantasy animal in various forms of fantasy and different themes not just from, from Lego in, in the past, and it kind of works, but you're definitely very limited with the shoulders, and I'll show you more about those. And then there's this sort of deal, and I brought Kai back just for the sake of, of showing you some scale here. This was actually designed and built up to show the underside, the belly side of the, the dragon quite well, because it's all covered up. You know, you're not seeing anti-studs uh, uh, anti under here. This is built with studs on the side and studs on the underside construction. This is good, especially the chest itself, which is not the most traditional of shape, but it works really well, if you ask me. All that tiering, you know, the layering is very nice. It's too bad that these pieces in this lighter color show through the color of the piece underneath. So wherever there is black underneath in particular, or anything that's dark, you can definitely see that. There's some translucency to that key orange or flame yellowish orange color, but I love this shape right here. This compound shape, it's really good. And it's very satisfying to put together as well. 
happy with all of that. Again, though, I'm not satisfied with the articulation for the main limbs because you only have that one joint each. And like, for instance, here, all right, the wings are kind of upside down here, but I would love to be able to bring them down to the ground a little bit more to have this standing up and have its hands, if you will, on the ground as well, or maybe bring up these corners here and just bring these hands straight down. And I can't because that's just oriented the wrong way for this to get, get it to angle need to rotate it this way then I can bring the arms down like this but then they're by the side and yeah okay it looks like a, a tall boy version of a of a dragon but I would like to see those wings because the wings are just so glorious you just can't really take advantage of those all those well all that well but of course you can rotate them out this way is the is the intent to bring them into a flight pose and this is where I would really love to have some knee articulation and or some ankle articulation so I can fold the feet back, the feet are fairly bulky as they need to be to, to provide stability, but that just doesn't look like a good flying pose. It really doesn't. All right, let's get this head out uh, and then spread these wings out. When the wings are spread forward, that's pretty cool. Again, these wings are great, but I want to be able to angle these forward and back. And I can't because I can only bring them up and down. Now the flapping, that's good. That's good. But I want both. I want to have my cake and eat it. I want to be able to pose these wings different ways. Yes, I am being greedy, but I'm telling you how I feel about it. This this needed more articulation. It really did. Here are the first three minifigures, all legacy versions, of course. Kai, Zane, and that's Whiplash over there, uh, officially. I get a couple of the golden weapon sets, which is nice to still be able to see overall. I think that these look pretty good. I think that uh, LEGO has done a pretty respectable job of of coming up with designs for the legacy series you know they don't look they don't look too new but they also don't look too old uh, sorry about this guy being just a little bit off there really really doesn't matter let me take some stuff off though from the ninja so you can see more details boo i got unlucky with the print for kai there it has some smudging on it uh, the print for the face for zane is perfectly fine and here you can see the rest of the details around the back once again a little bit unlucky with a slight misprint for Kai, nothing too serious. And it's not a common problem, but it's there. So, you know, I'm gonna call it out. And then finally here, finally, is the golden version of Nia. This is from the Legacy series, you know, the, the 10th anniversary special edition series. So it's good to finally get this one. It looks pretty good as a figure, uh, the color scheme. I don't know how well it works. I like the belt area there, or just just a, the band just above the belt. Forgive me for not remembering the name of that offhand, but the design in there is really good. Just generally, the graphic design work is very nice. I don't know if the colors are as strong as I would like to see for her, but then it does kind of match what they've done for the others up to this point. I don't know what could have been done better with this. I'm just glad to get the figure. There's a quick peek with all the rest of the stuff removed, and here's the alternate face. She also gets that 10th anniversary stand, which just has a handful of pieces, including the reused print for the plaque on the front, has a little bit of copper print in it. And awkwardly, though her main color is dark azure, they've used medium azure for the studs to give a little color to the stand, because I don't think stud pieces exist in dark azure as yet. These are the leftover or spare pieces, not too many of them. And I feel like there were not too many stickers used in this set for its size. The best news of the day is that this set cost $50 US, five zero. And that's a lot of dragon, at least from Lego, for $50 US. So definitely kudos to the designer of this for building to that budget and managed to, managing to get something that is so large out of it, so expansive and built with the correct style of wings. This is, this is really important to me personally. This is huge. This is very valuable. And I'm sure that, you know, these account for a lot more in the, in the budgeting, uh, when, when designing this than just using the typical basic uh, skeletal ones where you kind of have to imagine it or going with vinyl pieces or something like that. This is good. This really helps a lot. And I mean, this, this is built up nicely on top and underneath as well really doesn't look particularly bad from any angle you know the the, the selection of, of parts that were available and that were used for this are available in colors that make enough sense that it just yeah it doesn't have a particularly camera unfriendly angle it's just too bad that 
compromises were made in articulation to too significant of a degree, I think. This at least needed uh, ball joints for the, for the ankles, at least. That would have allowed a lot more movement with you know, walking poses, getting it into just standing poses that I might like, and also getting those feet to be able to tuck back for flying poses when actually swishing the thing around. Also, the shoulders you know, are really, really limited. I wish that we could get more out of that, but I'm not, I'm not as disappointed in those. I, I feel like I can kind of work around that. It just, the whole thing just has a limited number of poses that, that work, especially just on display. They work just fine, but you have to find those and kind of work with those limitations. You can't just make it do what you want. Um, and I'm, I'm okay with there being some limitations. I just feel like this had too many. Anyway, those are my thoughts though. Um, I'm sure that, you know, superstar mock makers can come along and very easily modify in more articulation to make this much better, but I am not here to review the possibilities of what can be done, adding your own pieces and everything. I'm here to review just the product as is sold to us by Lego, as most Lego uh, fans will build the thing, because most people don't do modification. Most people who do modification do very little. Just, just something to keep in mind, just something to keep in mind. It's made for kids. Younger kids at that, not designed for the highest end folks who are at the top tier of, of, uh, of mock making on the internet, you know, on, on Instagram, Flickr and whatnot. So let me know what you think. If you have any different opinions about this, comment section is open. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.